I've been doing some tutorials on uh, OVM and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the Oracle VM Utilities Relay 3 for doing CPU pinning. So as you can see here there's a document that describes everything and what you need to do is to go to the Oracle website and you need to go and on the Oracle VM server for uh, x86 you need to go and download the Oracle VM 3 Utils which will provide you with the functionality of doing CPU pinning. So you take the download tools um, and you will unpack these on the OVM server itself. Uh, as you might recall in my previous video, we were uh, editing uh, the VM CFD file on the uh, OVS server itself, which is actually you get a warning about if you're mixing up and doing stuff on the systems, you know, you might uh, uh, mess up things. So, in this, uh, we are just installing uh, the OVM utils on the OVM server itself, which will provide us with the same functionalities as uh, setting up, uh, uh, doing the pinning on, on the uh, VM themselves. So, we need to use the uh, OVM uh, VM control and you can go into the um, uh, uh, documentation and you can see how it actually done and in this tutorial I'm actually going to show you how to do this using uh, uh, the CPU set uh, command uh, in the tool so if we will go to the uh, server itself I'm going to show you how this is done so let's just open up a uh, a uh, a console so we can actually do the CPS pinning. So as you can see here, I have a test web server running, which I want to do the pinning on. So uh, on the <coughs> sorry on the uh, left side, I just have to show you what's happening on the OV server itself. This is not required. So I'm actually just looking at the OVM utils and I punch in the OVM underscore VM control and admin and password and then I will be uh, doing this uh, pinning. So as you can see here, I've pin everything is put to 0 to 3. I have now changed this to 0 and 1. So I've actually done the pinning on CPU uh, 0 and 1. And as you can see here, it's changed on the OBS server itself. So this parameter is actually written into the uh, VM CFD file uh, on this uh, specific uh, uh, VM that I've uh, punched in. And this is, in, in my case, it's test web that I've done this pinning on. Uh, and as you can see here, this is the info of the test web server. It has uh, these CPUs. Uh, four, but I actually pinned these four virtual CPUs to zero and one. So it's it's I've pinned it. I've done the uh, pinning itself on on the system. So um, let's just try to change it back. So I will have uh, zero, one, two, and three. So I get everything back to the uh, as before. So I'm just going to put three four and, and you will see here I've now done the pinning and if we go to the OBS server itself just to see what happened uh, you will see it's pinned so this is just using the OVM utils I hope you've enjoyed this short tutorial and uh, looking forward to hearing from you